After months of waiting, my Watch Gecko Dakota D1 Divers Watch is finally here, guys. Unboxing after the break. Welcome back everybody and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing well guys as i said before the intro the wait is finally over my watch gecko dakota d1 vintage divers watch has arrived in the post today and i couldn't be more excited this is absolutely awesome i've been waiting for this for months and months ever since i um i bought one from kickstarter um before i open it up just to give you guys a bit of an idea especially if you're a watch enthusiast um this is a 42mm case watch, which I ordered from Kickstarter from a British company uh, called Watch Gecko. If you haven't checked them out because of my last review or my last, uh, one of my last videos, please check them out. If you go to www.watchgecko.com, and I'll put a uh, description in the link below in the comments section, um, it will uh, it'll show you the website. Fantastic watches. These guys love watches, so um, it's a must for any watch enthusiasts out there. They make their own watches and they take design elements from various vintage watches from days gone by and they put their own spin on it. These watches really are awesome and I've been very, very excited about getting this one. Um, I've been looking to get a diver's watch, a decent diver's watch for many, many years. Obviously, as most of you would, I would love to get myself an Omega or something like that in that high-end price bracket. Unfortunately, um, my budget doesn't allow for that, so um, I've gone for a mid-price watch. Now... They're sold out on the website at the moment, so if after this video you go on watchgecko.com, you will see that this particular model is sold out. Um, that is because obviously it proved so popular in the Kickstarter campaign, um, but they will be getting more in. Obviously, um, the reviews so far have been amazing for this watch, so um, they're definitely going to be producing more as uh, quickly as they can. But like I said, it's a 42mm uh, watch. Um, it's got a 22mm uh, watch lug, um, it's a uh, silver colour, now I've gone for the uh, noir, uh, noir, which is the black, um, there's a sapphire blue and also um, a ceramic one as well. Now as I said to you before in the video, Watch Gecko did reach an extra Kickstarter goal, a stretch campaign which they did, which um, meant that every uh, watch owner that um, bought one from Kickstarter will get all the, uh, the bezels to go with the watch for free. They sent an email out last week saying that the uh, additional um, bezels, which for me will be the ceramic and the um, sapphire blue, will be sent out separately. So I won't be able to show you those today, unfortunately. However, the other stretch goal, the um, uh, NATO strap, uh, the James Bond um, NATO strap, has been included. And I'll be able to show you that shortly. Um, and I'll talk you through that as I open it now. Um, a few more details in relation to the watch. The case thickness, uh, for those of you that care about these sort of things, is 13.3 millimeters. The case back is a stainless steel screw-in type. Uh, the lug-to-lug -lug length is 52.5 millimeters. The case material is stainless steel. It's brushed and polished. Um, it's water-resistant to 300 meters um, or 30 ATM. It's got a 120-click unidirectional rotating bezel, which is great. Uh, it's got flat sapphire crystal glass with anti-reflective coating. It's got super luminova um, luminescence on the hands, uh, the minute and the hour hands. Uh, there's no battery, obviously, um, but it's this watch is lovely, and I'm really excited to show it to you. Now, just in case uh, you're wondering, I haven't opened this whatsoever. This is the very first time I'm opening this, guys. So I'll be sharing with you my reaction and my thoughts on the watch as soon as I've done that. So let's just get on with it. Um, first thing I saw when I opened up the package was this uh, envelope. Um, I'm assuming, uh, I should never assume, but I'm assuming inside is a watch strap. We'll have a look in a second. And that's my uh, my stretch goal watch strap, I'm hoping. Well, I'm hoping wrong. There's nothing in there, guys, so it must be in the big box. Uh, quite an elaborate um, padded box for what is essentially a receipt. But there we are. This is the uh, Watch Gecko receipt. Um basically just saying thank you for your purchase and uh, telling me that in inside I have got if I can show you the letter I've got a uh, Kickstarter Noir uh, Super Early Bird Dakota D1 
D1, which I think I paid £379 for. It's now £499 on the website when they're back in stock. So I saved myself uh, a nice little chunk of money there. Um, it's a wooden watch box, light brown. Uh, inside is a Zulu Diver Swiss style night on... Uh, on nylon, sorry, NATO, NATO black grey brushed metal 22mm watch strap, which will be inside the packaging. A professional spring bar removal tool, a Zulu Diver Tropic Rubber watch strap black polished 22mm, a Gakota simple Italian handmade reddish brown dark beige polished 22mm watch strap, screwdriver 1.6mm for the Vintage Diver D1 watch bezel, no branding. Uh, and finally, the Dakota D1 Kickstarter Noir. Uh, old radium so uh, apparently the order was packed by claire thank you claire shout out to you thank you very much and uh your order was packed by tash again thank you tash shout out for you okay guys here we go so if we can get into this box we'll see what we've got inside but i am very excited guys i love watches like most of you guys out there that are interested in style uh we do love a nice watch um obviously as you know they're not exactly cheap so this is a pretty re good reasonably priced uh divers watch i think to be honest with you given what you can pay with some manufacturers out there so first of all it's nice sturdy um black cardboard box nice thick cardboard to take care of your uh, precious watch and inside i've got a nice uh black um sort of cardboardish wrapping paper a watch gecko pen um, thank you very much, Watch Gecko. I'm, I'm assuming that's a pen. It's very nice. Love a look at that later. Um, first thing I see when I open it up is a uh, black, thick cobble box, partially open. What have we got inside there? Wow. I've also got. Now, listen, guys. This is a really nice touch. Thank you, Watch Gecko. Not that I drink, but if I did, this would be a perfect tool. Um, I know somebody that will want this, though, so that's fine. It's uh, basically a, a bottle opener tool. Um, with a, I'm assuming that is a, yeah, it's a, it's a bottle opener with a nice serrated sort of tool on the end there. Very nice. Thank you, Watch Gecko. Very nice touch, actually, guys. In all seriousness, um, that's a very nice touch. And it's little details like this that make companies like Watch Gecko uh, worth uh, investing in because they obviously care about their, um, about their clients, and and that means a lot to the consumer, doesn't it? Um, I've got a free pen already. And a free bottle opener as soon as I open up the package, and that's before I get to the watch. So, thank you, Watch Gecko, a lovely touch, um, and I will definitely be buying from you again in the future. Um, uh, another letter, let me just show you that, which I've just uh, unfolded from there. I'll read it to you. It says, Thank you for your order, and this is dated the 26th of January 2018. Thank you very, very much indeed for backing our Kickstarter project. I'm writing to you personally to thank you for putting your trust in us to deliver this watch to you. I'd also like to thank you for your patience in waiting for your purchase to arrive. Our first Kickstarter campaign was a fantastic success and our team is delighted with the way the D1 has turned out. I sincerely hope that you will too. We'd value your feedback and we'd love to hear your thoughts on the product and the service you received. Whatever your experience, and we hope it's been a positive one, please tell us about it using the email address above. We will listen very carefully to all the comments and act on them wherever possible to improve our service. Thank you again for supporting Gakota and please accept our best wishes for 2018. Enjoy your watch. Yours sincerely, Jonathan Quinn, Director, Gakota. Um, Mr Quinn, uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much for providing me with um, what I hope is going to be an amazing watch. Um, and I will definitely email the comments to, uh, to him later, guys. Because uh, I think it's a really nice touch. It's a very, very personal touch. Right, there's nothing else in that box, so we'll get rid of that for a moment. Now inside, we have the um watch uh which is inside this uh sort of white shield so we'll take that off and there we are this is it guys this is the Dakota d1 vintage divers watch so let's just get straight in and again this is the first time that i'm seeing this the same time as you are as well so this is by the way just before i go on i know this is very nerdy but this is a lovely box it just feels really really quality and it's got like a ridging to it and a, an embossed um or Deboss Gakota uh, logo there, which you can see. It's just a nice touch. It's these little touches that make purchasing from companies um, worthwhile. Do you know what I mean? It's very, very nice. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see this, guys. Um, obviously, the box folds down like this. It's got another protective layer in there, which is really, really nice. And here we are. This is it. So this is my uh, certificate of authenticity, I believe. This is the Gakota Kickstarter Edition D1 Diver. And it's got the colour of the watch that I've bought, which is the black noir there. Um, inside of it 
it's got the specifications that I've already uh, said to you. So you've got a 41 millimeter um, case diameter, 13.3 millimeter um, case thickness, lug width 22 millimeter, etc. Et and it's got a little diagram of the watch um, at the bottom there. You can see that, okay? Obviously, just instructions within that explaining how to uh, to operate the watch. I'll have a play with that later. I don't want to bore you with it. But anyway, there you go. So that's the uh, Kickstarter Kokoda D1 Vintage Divers Watch um, owner's card. And here we are. Now I'll take the um, I'll take the lovely wooden box out of this uh, cover for you, so you can see. Okay, but this is. Have a look at this, guys. It's a really nice uh, light brown wooden box, again with the Gakota um, logo debossed onto the top there. And here we go, let's just get straight in and see the watch. Right, as you can see, lovely brown, rich brown leather interior. So this is a really nice watch and it does give it that nice, um, you know, sort of premium feel. You've got lovely packaging, you've got a really nice wooden uh, watch box, you've got your lovely leather interior there housing the watch. And here it is. Now we'll leave the watch till last, okay? But I'm just gonna show you now, this is the three uh, watch straps, and I'll open this up so you can see it, um, which uh, you get with it, and that were mentioned earlier on. You've got uh, the watch tool there, okay? This is the um, watch tool to change the uh, the straps over from the, um, the metal uh, one that you can see there, the metal bracelet. You've got the um, James Bond um, Zulu uh, NATO divers watch now. I've got to say guys straight away You can pick up watch straps on eBay Amazon etc for $5.99 and they they're pretty good when you want to just a cheap option to change up your watch straps But I've bought a Dakota Sorry, I've bought a um, watch gecko watch strap before and they are premium materials You're gonna pay a little bit more, but I think these new are about $21.99 um, but it's worth it because the material construction is spot-on and you can see this is a mix of, uh, of a Zulu and um and a NATO strap, and I won't go into the differences here. I've done a video on that, I think last year, maybe 2016, but essentially there are distinct differences. People don't really know the differences, but essentially this is a, what they've done is they've taken a NATO strap and they've used Zulu inspired details to, to make a really nice hybrid watch strap, which is really good quality. But as you can see, it's the same design that um, Daniel Craig James Bond War Inspector, I believe it is. It's a lovely um, black and gray design. I really like this. And to be honest with you guys, I'll probably wear this watch strap with this watch more often than not. Um, whilst I do like a metal bracelet, it's got its time and place when you're wearing a suit or you're, you're dressing it up. But generally, for everyday wear, I'd wear either a leather strap or a, uh, a Zulu or a NATO. So I'll probably be getting a lot of wear out of this one. But that's a really nice addition. And as I said earlier on, that was the stretch goal um, product. So that's one of the things that I got thrown in for nothing. So when you buy this watch, when it's back on the website, if you like this uh, this watch from uh, from this review, you won't get this included. You'll have to buy this. But um, separate but it was just a nice early bird um offer um that you got with watch gecko the next watch strap in there is a really nice and it's a, a lovely smell but this is a um a black rubber um watch strap and it's just really nice it's just nice and simple it's got some nice perforated holes there uh, for allow your skin to breathe in the hot weather and if you're using it for diving because like i said it is a proper diver's watch so you can use it for that um i won't be going diving anytime soon so i doubt very much i'll wear this watch strap um very often but it's got a nice stainless steel buckle on it and yeah just a very nice uh, watch strap really nice to be thrown into the mix and finally is a really nice uh, vintage sort of cherry brown, I would say, cherry brown leather watch strap with a stainless steel um, buckle. Uh, it's got a nice uh, Gakota uh, debossing on the back and it's got a very nice sort of beige stitching um, on, on the points of, um, of wear. So basically near the buckle. Uh, and on the end of um, where the watch straps are going to be meeting the lug. So a very, very nice watch and a nice little tipping detail there on the end. So very, very nice touch so far. Um, and here we are, back to the watch. So here we are. It's straight out of the box, guys. I've got to say, this is a very nice weighty watch, okay? It feels like a quality watch. It feels quality. It's really, really nice. And looking at it straight away, the quality is obvious. The, the bezel just feels nice and solid. Uh, it's got a really nice click to it. Um, the uh, the bracelet is really well made um, and just feels really weighty 
and quality, guys, honestly. Um, it's a nice uh, width. I like the fact it's 22mm lugs because I, I like a thicker watch strap, personally. I've got quite large wrists, as you can see. Um, so the bigger the watch, the more normal it looks on my wrist. I have bought watches before, before I was in the know, that were far too small for my wrist and just didn't look good. So bigger the wrist, guys, the bigger the watch you, you, you're going to need, really, just to keep it all proportional. But this is a lovely brushed stainless steel, um, lovely black um, dial and black face. And I love what they've done with the um, with the markings, the indentations, the uh, annotations and the letters. I think it's really, really nice. And it just brings in mind uh, watches of the 1950s and 60s. So they've taken some really nice design details from vintage divers watches and made it their own, which is really, really lovely. Like I say, a really nice weighty watch. On the back, and I don't know whether you can see this very well, but I'll open up the watch to see if you can. There's a nice Gakota. Um, embossing on the back of the uh, the watch battery case as well. Um, also, don't know if you can see this if the camera's picking it up very well, but on the um, on the watch dial there, um, on the watch crown, sorry, you can see a nice little um, engraved G for Gakota, um, which is really really lovely. Now, Watch Gecko obviously are a British company. Gakota, if you haven't worked out already, is their line of watches. So they sell every accessory on the sun that you could possibly imagine um, you'd want for a watch. Um, and they also have their own brand of watches, which they've named Gakota. So you can see behind the hour arm there, um, or the minute arm, sorry, you can see there is um, a Gakota logo there. So this really is an absolutely gorgeous watch, guys. I'll, um, I'll show you it on in a moment. I'm going to just take off all the um, protective casing and uh and in a moment you'll see it on my wrist to see what it looks like and see if it's the right size for you guys see you in a minute okay guys here it is on my wrist the uh, dakota d1 vintage divers watch um i took the uh, metal bracelet off as you can see uh, and put the um, the NATO Bond watch strap on because that's the one, like I said earlier on, that I'm more likely to wear. Um, I've got to say, the reason I did that is um, the metal bracelet was a bit too big and it was going to take too long to take the links out. I'm not a massive fan of metal bracelets as it is. Um, they just don't suit my style really. Um, they're nice to have uh, for when you're going out for a you know a posh occasion uh, and only a metal um, bracelet will do but personally for most days I'll be either using leather or a NATO just to switch it up um, depending on how I feel for that day but I've got to say I really really love this watch strap I knew I would um, you could probably see hopefully you can on the um, on the little rings which normally on a on a NATO or Zulu would be more rounded but these are quite nice square buckled sort of rings they've got a Zulu diver which is what they name their um, their NATO watch straps on uh, Watch Gecko Zulu Diver. That's the brand they use for the watch straps. It's also um, basically engraved into the buckle there, which is quite a nice touch. And on every uh, on every piece of hardware, it's really really nice. The watch, I think you'll agree, looks absolutely great on this watch strap. It's a really really nice watch. Um, a really heavy weighty watch on your wrist, so you know you're wearing a quality timepiece. Um, I've set the time and everything now. It is very simple on the dial, i.e. there's no date window. It's literally just based on a vintage diver's watch, which would have just had the um, uh, the hour um, markings there, and the minute markings, obviously, as you can see, um, aren't, aren't there, but uh, you've got your little um, luminescent dials and your little... Um, minute markers on there I don't know if you can see that very well I'll try and move it a bit closer to the camera uh, but essentially this is a lovely lovely watch a really nice quality timepiece and I'm very glad that I uh, that I joined the Kickstarter campaign and got it for a, a lot cheaper than um, the retail price but uh, keep your eye on watch gecko if, you, if you're not willing to to pay uh, the amount that is going to be listed on there now which is 500 pounds which is still a, a fair wedge to whack down on a watch um, I think you'll agree so you are getting a quality um, watch um, but Watch Gecko do have regular sales. Now this is a new item. Obviously, it's only just got delivered to me because obviously I was on the Super Early Bird Kickstarter campaign. Um, but they will be back on the site soon. So if you want to get yourself one with the back in stock, don't be expecting to find any discounts anytime soon um, because it's a brand new watch and it's literally just got released. And obviously, 
as a super early bird um, adopter i've got mine first before anyone else so um yeah essentially guys i love this watch i hope uh you've enjoyed the review um i'll do another review in a week or two when i've had it on my wrist just to see how accurate the timekeeping is etc but i'm assuming uh, a watch of this quality and this price point is going to be bang on um i think it's got a quartz movement but i need to um to do a bit more reading of all the pamphlets that i got within the watch um package to, to really let you know but at the moment i can see that the second hand um marker is a really nice smooth sweeping movement um it's not jittery at all it looks like a really really quality time piece um so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video um if you have please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below if you'd like to subscribe to my channel then please uh, click the bell if you're watching on mobile to the bottom right hand side of this video i will put a link to the website watch gecko in the uh, description below um yeah keep watching my videos guys hope you like it i hope the uh, pictures come out all right and the sound and that you've got a, a good enough what uh, look at this watch um but yeah this is the dakota d1 vintage divers watch from watch gecko check them out guys and um i'll speak to you in the next video take care bye